we're going to continue looking at tools that you can allow large language models to use, particularly through LangChain agents. But in this video, we're going to focus on search tools, search engines. That's a huge aspect of what you want the large language models to do. Often, they're sort of your agent using the using the search engine for you. They take the results, synthesize, and, and give you that. That does bring up an interesting question of given that the fact that a lot of the internet is uh, advertising revenue based, how that will work just gleaning the information out of it and returning that to you. They're essentially the ultimate ad blocker at, at times. So in this example, we're going to make use of a search engine that is specifically used for large language models, was specifically designed for large language model, and that's the Tavily API. I like using DuckDuckGo uh, because it's, it's design, it, it doesn't require an API key, so I often use it for examples, but Tavily is a more advanced and specifically tuned to search engine, or to uh, large language models. It's a search engine for computers, so to speak. So anyway, these two API keys that you need, one for OpenAI, one for Tavily, I suggest putting them in, I suggest putting them in the, in the keys here. You can see I have some of the common keys here. You can't see what they are, obviously. You don't really need to sign up for this particular one to make use of the class. Everything that I have used search engines for, you can use through DuckDuckGo. So first we do talk about DuckDuckGo. So DuckDuckGo is, is, is basically a search engine that, that, will, um, that will go out and find you current information. So here I ask it, who is the president of the, U of the United States of America? And as of when I ran this, and as of when I'm recording this, it is, it is Joe Biden. Uh, that will be changing given that he is not running for re-election. So this will give a different answer in the not too distant. Now we're going to basically allow it to make use of some of these tools. So I am giving it a GPT-40 Mini. That's a very cost effective search engine, or uh, I'm sorry, large language model from OpenAI. It's the one that we use throughout most of this course. And now I'm asking it a question that I used as an example previously, but return the current value of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. But here I'm doing a little more prompt engineering. I'm saying just return it as a floating point number, the number, no text or comments. And it gives me just the output. And fortunately, the Dow is a bit higher than here. Uh, when you're running it, hopefully it's Hopefully it's still higher yet. But now let's look at Tavily. Tavily gives you something a little bit beyond what, I mean, it gives you capabilities beyond what DuckDuckGo will give you, but it does cost money. The free version gives you, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so transactions that you can use. And if we go look at Tavily, the idea is connect your large language model to the, to the web there is pricing for it. This could be out of date by the time that you read it. The free version gives you a thousand API calls to, and, and they don't even make you put a credit card in, which is nice. Uh, you can pay 30,000 30, 30, a month, $30 a month, and that will give you 4,000 API calls. And then similarly, you can, uh, you can get 15,000 for that. I don't see that they have, yeah, they don't have an unlimited option, uh, but you can then get to a point where $100 for each additional 8,000 API calls. Langchain does have specific tools just for them, so this is, this is, a, this is a pretty pretty interesting tool that you can have. I'm going to show you ba just how to basically use it. So this is an example that they actually gave. What happened in the last Burning Man floods? So I don't know, whenever we, hopefully we don't have a future Burning Man flood, but the next time they have that, 
the, that concert, that event, um, hopefully they won't have floods. But there were a lot of trouble the last time with floods, so I think that's why they use that as their example quote, or example search, and you can see it, it gives you some of the results back. Here we basically create the search tool, and we're going to use the same prompt that we have been using. This is just a prompt provided by Langchain that is used for agent chatting. And I'll ask it something that's fairly, who is the oldest world leader? And it gives you is somebody from Cameroon. People might think it's the US, but we, do, we are known for our old leaders at all levels, but uh, this is apparently the oldest leader uh, as of 20, I don't know why it's saying 2021, uh, but that must have been what the search engine came be. Search engines also will find data that's not necessarily the latest. I guess a more advanced version of this could go to Wikipedia and pull the world leaders and, and, and look at all their birth years and find, find whoever's the oldest. That would certainly be a, a, a better, a more involved example of doing that. That would be a lot more complicated, though. And the large language models are not at the point that they would go and try to do something like that, even with tools. We can also put in retrieval. So this would include RAG as well. So here I am giving it a number of, so, so these text files, I created those actually with large language model. They are fake synthetic data. And if you look at one of them, they're just a bunch of random biographies of people. Just a bunch of bunch of people. Samantha Clarks is a seasoned project manager, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it has access to all of these people, but then I'm also giving it access to the to the search engine. And this code is all similar to what we've done with RAG before. We're just loading in those text files, chunking them, making them available through the Chroma DB embeddings database and now basically we can we can ask it questions like who is who is Samantha Doyle and it will go to our text and retrieve that. We can also then um, ask it some things that relate to what you might want to do in a search engine. So here I'm saying what are the job prospects in 2024 for Samantha Doyle's career? Return a two sentence. So it's going to look up in our RAG data. So this is an agent. This is it's looking up multiple things. It's looking up. It's finding that she's a project manager through RAG. Then it is looking up project manager and giving us a result on that. So, so it tells us Samantha Doyle, a seasoned project manager, is well positioned for successful career that she can do with that career path. So this is using search engines and agents together and a little bit more complicated of an example. So thank you for watching the video. And if you found this useful, please give me a like and please subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all my other videos and information on machine learning.